As a young dwarf in the great city of Karaza Karak, you were taught the legends of your ancestors. Ever since, you have longed for the day when you could win fame and glory of your own and restore the luster of your much-diminished clan. When High King Thorgrim Grudgebearer called for warriors to aid Kislev during the Great Chaos Invasion, you were one of the first to pledge your service. Along with your father and your younger brothers, you left Karaza Karak behind, marching eagerly to war. It wasn't long before you were in the thick of the fight, trapped inside the city of Kislev. You and your kin fought fiercely against the Chaos Horde. When Kul's first assault breached the city gates, it was the dwarfs who led the counterattack that drove the enemy back and saved the day. Your fearlessness in battle earned you the name Axebiter, and the Kislevites hailed you as a hero. But the more you tasted of glory, the more you began to crave it. When Magnus's army arrived outside the city, your thirst for immortal fame ended in tragedy. Leading a force of 300 dwarfs, you tried to fight your way out of the city to join the Imperials and fight Kool's army together. It was a deed worthy of legend, but not even Grimnir himself could have fought his way through so vast a horde. Your reckless charge was driven back at a bitter cost. Half of the valiant dwarfs that had followed you were slain, including your father and all of your brothers. Racked with guilt over the deaths of your kin, you swore powerful oaths of vengeance against the Dark Powers. And so you chose the path of the Slayer, seeking redemption through a glorious death in battle. When the final battle outside the city walls began, you went forth alone to find Asavar Kuhl and challenge him to single combat. You carved a bloody path through the enemy, reaching the Chaos Lord in time to see him fall to Magnus and his knights. After the battle, you accepted an invitation from Magnus to join his retinue and return with him to Nome. As far as you were concerned, the new Emperor owed you a glorious death, and with many of Asavar Kul's champions still alive, you could be sure Magnus would not lack for foes. It was an age of lawlessness and despair, a time of dark magic, treachery, and war. It is a night made for witchery and evil deeds, and across the city, guardsmen clutch their weapons tightly and count the hours until the dawn. Sleep is hard to come by on a night such as this. The air is tense, and memories of the battle at Kislev leave you restless and on edge. Suddenly, a peal of thunder shatters the stillness, followed by a howling wind that shakes the tower to its foundations. Foul magic curdles the air, and screams echo in the courtyard outside. The tower is under attack! What's all that noise? Best take a look. An attack? Ah, thank the ancestors. If it's Magnus they want, they'll have to go through me first. Thanks, Sigma, you're here. There's monsters everywhere. I know! Exhilarating, isn't it? Upstairs in the throne room, there's armor in a chest by the stairs. Take whatever you need, but hurry!
As you reach the throne room, the air seethes with foul magics. The Chaos Sorceress stands before the throne, and Magnus, the savior of the Empire, is caught within her spell. There's only one thing to do. Roaring a battle oath, you ready your axe and charge! By the time you regain your senses, the battle is over. The Sorceress is gone, leaving you and Magnus for dead. The shouts of angry men fill the throne room, but these are not guardsmen. They are witch hunters, the Empire's feared inquisitors, led by none other than the infamous Heinrich Voss. You are under arrest for the murder of the Emperor Magnus, Voss declares. He tried to tell him about the sorceress, but Voss refuses to listen. I see no sorceress here, he shouts. Only you and a room full of dead men. Confess your crimes, dwarf. Boss threatens. We will have the truth from you one way or another. After a week in the dungeons, you'll tell me everything I want to know. But before the witch hunter could make good on his threat, a commanding voice filled the room. Stop this madness at once! Techless Lawmaster of the High Elves regards Boss coldly. Raggy Axebiter has told you the truth, he said. It is you who have refused to listen. Techless examines Magnus in silence. He lives, thank the gods, the High Elf says at last. But he is in the grip of a powerful curse. It is only a matter of time before he succumbs. No one outside this room must know what happened here. If the people learn that Magnus has fallen, then everything he fought for will have been for nothing. The fate of the Empire lies in our hands. We must find this sorceress and end the curse before it's too late. If Magnus dies, the Empire dies with him. There are dark and terrible forces at work in the city, Braggy Axebiter. If we are to find the sorceress and defeat her, we must confront the dark cult that has taken root in Nuln and expose its secret master. Just tell me where I can find them, elf! The attack on the tower came from the sewers that stretch beneath the city. Your first task is simple. Enter the tunnels and drive the cultists back from the tower. Kill everything in your path. Ha! By Grimnir, I hope you're right!
Need to fight. I need more time! Just another second and I'll crush them all! A foul thing. It's done. There's nothing in the tunnels outside the tower except dead men. I do not doubt it. The servants of Nurgle flourish in darkness and filth. Well done. Return to me when you are ready for your next task. 